Spilligale putorius, a closer look at the eastern spotted skunk. The eastern spotted skunk, scientifically known as Spilligale putorius, inhabits a wide geographical range spanning from the northern reaches of Minnesota, USA, to the southern region of Tamaulipas, Mexico. This elusive creature's habitat extends from the Appalachian Mountains in south-central Pennsylvania down to Florida in the USA, and historically, it roamed as far west as eastern Colorado and Wyoming. The eastern spotted skunk's boundaries, however, remain relatively indistinct. Historical records suggest that the skunk's population was once thriving, even harvested for pelts across various regions. These numbers, however, have dwindled drastically over the years. Harvest data indicates that there has been a significant decline in the number of animals harvested, not just due to a decrease in trapping efforts, but rather due to a substantial reduction in population. In regions like Iowa and across the Great Plains, harvests that once numbered in tens of thousands have plummeted to mere hundreds or even lower. The skunk's presence is now rare or virtually non-existent in some areas. Information regarding population density for Spilligale putorius is limited, but certain estimates have been made. For instance, in an agricultural zone in Iowa, population density ranged from one skunk per 11.4 to 5.0 hectares during a period when they were still common in the area. In Florida's Canaveral National Seashore, a density as high as 40 individuals per square kilometer was reported during the 1970s. This skunk species is divided into three subspecies, each tailored to different physiographic regions and habitats. The Midwestern spotted skunk, for example, has been observed to favor forested areas with dense undergrowth. Similarly, the Appalachian eastern spotted skunk appears to thrive in higher elevation forested habitats within the Appalachian region. The Florida race, the least studied but frequently encountered, shows an affinity for human habitation, often making dens in backyards or human structures. All three subspecies are opportunistic omnivores, primarily insectivorous but preying on small mammals or birds when insects are scarce. The decline in eastern spotted skunk populations can be attributed to a combination of factors. Historical overharvesting, synthetic pesticide use, landscape changes due to agriculture, alterations in predator communities, and the spread of diseases are all implicated. This decline, which is estimated to be over 90% since the 1950s, has raised conservation concerns. Some subspecies are now listed as endangered, threatened, or of conservation concern across multiple states in their range. With a dire need for conservation actions, research efforts are underway to understand the primary threats and causes of this decline. Collaborative initiatives, such as the Eastern Spotted Skunk Cooperative Study Group, aim to inform managers and guide conservation strategies to protect this enigmatic creature and its vital role within ecosystems.